Hi guys and welcome to another one of our 15 minute home yoga practices. Ideal for you to do at home or out and about whenever you feel like it. Now today we're focusing on sun salutes, just an easy gentle variation just to get the body flowing and to get the body nice and warm as well. So let's begin. So just start by coming into a comfortable position, just sitting back on the heels. Now we're going to start our practice by bringing our attention and our awareness to our breathing. So start by sitting up nice and tall, lifting up through the crown of the head and just bringing the hands beside the body. And we're going to start with our breathing. So inhale, raising the hands up, looking up towards the sky as the palms lightly touch. And exhale, floating the arms back down. Inhale, breathing up, looking up. And exhaling back down. And one more as we inhale up, palms lightly touch. And this time holding here, as you exhale, bringing the head back to centre and dropping those shoulders away from the ears. Now from here we're going to interlock the fingers and press the palms up towards the sky. Now as you do this, I want you to sit the hips down into the heels, lift up nice and tall along the length of the spine, and now really press the palms up towards the sky as we look up towards the palms. And just feel that lovely extension running all the way along the back, and all the way up, along the neck, towards the hands. Now from here, we're going to bring the head back to centre and slowly lowering the hands down in front. Now once you bring your awareness now to the shoulder blades and squeezing the shoulder blades together behind the back as you press the palms away now, drawing the belly muscles in and lifting nice and tall once again. And we're just starting slowly to warm up the body here. And from here, just dropping the head and rounding into the shoulders and just stretching the arms away. Breathing here, taking in one big deep breath. And then from here, raising the head back up, coming up to sitting once again and gently releasing the hands back beside the body. Just give the shoulders a bit of a roll here. And then going in the other direction as well. And now from here, we're just going to come to move to the back of our mat, sitting on the heels once again and lifting up nice and tall. And from here, we're going to bring the hands together behind the back, interlocking the fingers and really pressing the palms together as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lifting up nice and tall here and just gently lowering the chin down towards the chest. And from here, we're coming to fold all the way forward, lowering the head down onto the mat and extending the arms up and away behind. Just taking in a big deep breath here as you sink the hips back towards the heels and focus on pressing those palms together. Taking in one more deep breath. And now inhale, raising the head back up, lowering the arms and releasing the hands back beside the body. Now we're going to step the knees out nice and wide and coming to walk the hands forward along the mat. Pressing the palms down, spreading the fingers, looking forward between the hands and then gently lowering the forehead down onto the mat and releasing here. And feeling this lovely stretch and lovely length all the way from the hands, running along the back and down towards the hips. We're really creating space and length here along the back of the body. And breathing here, taking one more breath, pressing those palms down, pressing the tops of the feet down into the mat. And then on your next inhalation, gently raising the head, looking forward between the hands and raising up into an all four position and just walking the knees forward. So now that we've got the hips stacked over the knees, the shoulders over the wrists and pausing here. Now we're going to bring a little bit of movement now with our cat cow pose, a bit of lasana. So just start in a neutral flat back position, drawing the navel in towards the spine. And then from here as we inhale, we look forward, dropping the belly down towards the mat, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then exhaling, tucking the chin to the chest, arching the back up towards the sky. And inhale, looking back forward, dropping that belly. And exhaling, arching the back. Now we're just flowing gently here, 
trying to synchronise our breath and our movement together in our cat-cow pose. And just creating some nice warmth through the spine and through the shoulder region as well. And just one more round of cat-cow. And then on your next exhalation, just coming back to a neutral flat back. Now from here, we're just gonna walk the hands forward, one hand space, spread the fingers, having the hands out nice and wide, so the little fingers are sort of running along the edges of the mat. And from here, we're tucking our toes and preparing to come up to our very first downward dog of the day as you lift the knees up, hips up towards the sky, and take a moment to come into your Adha Mukha Savasana, downward facing dog. Now we're just warming into all these poses nice and gently. So we're just gonna start by bending one knee at a time and just warming into the calf muscles and the hamstrings along the backs of the legs here. And while you're doing this, bringing your attention to your head and neck and just letting the head and neck release and just be heavy here. And once you're feeling warm through the backs of the legs, just coming back to stillness, focusing on drawing the chest towards the thighs, drawing the heels down and away behind you and pressing those hands firmly into the mat. Breathing here, holding here. And then on your next inhalation, looking forward towards the hands, dropping the knees and coming back to all fours. Now we're just gonna walk the hands back one hand space. And we're going to come into our cat, cow and dog. So we're going to put those two poses together as we continue to flow through with our movements. So this time we're having the toes tucked and we're going to come into our dog. It will be a little bit shorter than normal. So once again, coming to all fours, pausing here, taking a moment to set up, make sure everything's stacked. And then inhale, looking forward, dropping the belly, squeezing those shoulders and exhale, arching the back up to our cat position. Now from here, we're inhaling, raising the knees, coming up to a shorter downward facing dog. And then exhale, lowering the knees back down and setting up. Inhale, looking forward, coming to our cow pose and exhale, arching up to cat. Inhale, raising the knees, coming up to dog and exhale, lowering the knees, back down and setting up. We're gonna flow through this two more times now. As we inhale, look forward. Exhale, arching up. And inhale, raising up to dog. And then back down again. And just trying to really focus on making the movements nice and slow, nice and steady. And as always, working with our breath to come into our poses. And then once you're finished, just untucking the toes and coming to lean back into our child's pose with the hands extended out in front, forehead rested down. Taking on one breath here. And then inhale, raising up, looking forward between the hands and coming back up into a downward facing dog and preparing to raise up to standing as we look forward between the hands, bend into the knees and take little baby steps. So we walk towards the top of our mat, folding forward here, hanging here, just letting the head and neck be free, arms dangling down or taking hold of opposite elbows. And then we're just gonna add a bit of movement as we sway side to side, bringing some movement and energy into the hips. And after a few rounds of this, just coming slowly back to stillness, releasing the hands down, bending slightly into the knees as we prepare to roll up nice and slowly, one vertebra at a time, coming up with control, head and shoulders last. And once we get to the top, just rolling the head and shoulders round and releasing here. Okay, now from here we're going to start flowing through some of our postures. So to begin with, we're just stepping into mountain pose, so big toes together, taking a moment to line up our bones, stacking our bones as we draw up to the kneecaps, pelvis is aligned, shoulders rolling back, top of the head lifted up towards the sky and palms gently out to the side in our Tadasana or mountain pose. Now from here, we're going to bring the hands in front of the body 
interlocking the thumbs and spreading the fingers. And preparing to move as we lift through the chest. And inhale, bending into the knees as we raise the hands up, looking up towards the sky as we arch back. And exhale, folding forward, bringing the hands over the back behind, interlocking the fingers, squeezing the palms, squeezing the shoulders and folding here. Taking in one more breath here. And then releasing the hands gently down onto the mat, fingertips resting on the mat. As we inhale, bend the knees, flat back, look forward. And exhale, right foot steps back into a deep lunge, dropping the back knee down, lifting through the chest, coming onto the fingertips. And then just stretching forward, feeling this nice stretch along the hips and the quads as well. Taking one more breath here as you inhale. And exhale, planting the hands down and coming to step back into our downward facing dog. Take a moment to draw the heels down and away, pausing here. And now inhale, looking forward between the hands. This time we're stepping the right foot forward and coming to the lunge on the other side as we drop that back knee down and just lunging forward into that front hip, feeling the stretch along the back of the leg, uh, sorry, the front of the leg here and lifting up through the chest. Then from here, we're looking down at the foot and stepping towards the front of the mat, folding forward and interlocking the thumbs again, spreading the fingers as we bend into the knees, preparing to raise up, arching up towards the sky. And exhale, folding back forward, bringing the hands behind the back once more, squeezing the palms together, folding forward and releasing the hands back down onto the mat. As we inhale, flat back, bend knees, look forward. And this time we're stepping the left foot back into the lunge. And we're gonna keep the back leg off the mat this time. So the knees raised and just taking a moment to make sure that the front knee is stacked over the front ankle and coming into the lunge. Lifting here through the chest, holding here. And then if you'd like to, taking it even further by raising the hands up onto the hips. Breathing here, holding here. And then the next variation is to bring the hands out in front, palms facing in, looking up towards the hands, or even drawing the palms together. Strong back leg as you breathe here, hold here, and floating the hands back down, and stepping back to downward facing dog. And preparing to do it on the other side now as we inhale, look forward between the hands, left foot steps forward, right is up, keeping that back leg lifted up, looking forward, opening through the chest. And then if you'd like to, raising up, hands on hips, strong back leg. And then the next variation is to raise the hands up, dropping those shoulders away from the ears. Nice energy through the hands and then palms together if you'd like. Taking one more breath here and then floating the hands down. And this time we're stepping back to the front of the mat Folding forward here, bringing the hands behind the back, interlocking them, drawing the palms up and over. And now releasing the hands down, interlocking the fingers, spreading the other fingers out nice and wide as we raise up towards the sky, arching back and coming back to standing in our mountain pose. So on a beautiful sunny day like this, it's perfect conditions to do our sun salutes or Suri Namaskar, which is basically just putting a few of those postures together and flowing. So to start with, we're going to come back into our mountain pose, standing up nice and tall and bringing the hands beside the body now, palms facing out. Now we're working with our breath here, making sure that our breath and our movements are flowing together as one. So inhale, lifting the hands up, palms lightly touch above the head. As we exhale, swan diving down, folding all the way forward, hands coming to rest on the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, flat back, look forward, and stepping the right foot back into our deep lunge, keeping that back knee up off the mat, and inhale, looking forward, lifting through the chest. Now from here, we're planting the hands, and exhaling, stepping that foot back into downward facing dog, and taking a breath here as we inhale, and exhale. Now inhale, looking forward between the hands, coming into plank, 
and then gently lowering the knees, lowering the chin as we swoop forward into our cobra, untuck the toes, squeeze the shoulder blades, lifting up using our core muscles and tucking the toes as we exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, looking forward, stepping the right foot this time between the hands, coming into our lunge and now exhaling, left foot steps forward, folding here and then inhale, raising back up to standing, palms lightly touch and exhaling back down, hands beside the body. Okay, so now it's time to do it on the left side. So coming back to our mountain pose, taking a moment and then we're inhaling, raising the hands up, palms lightly touch and exhaling, swan diving down. Inhale, bend the knees, flat back, look forward and exhale, left foot steps back this time into our lunge. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest and exhale, plant the hands, right foot steps back into downward facing dog. Inhale, breathing here for one breath. And inhale, looking back between the hands, coming to plank, drawing those tummy muscles in, and then lowering the knees, lowering the chin as we swoop forward, untucking the toes, lifting into cobra, really tucking those elbows, squeezing the shoulder blades, and then tucking the toes, and coming back to downward facing dog, as we look forward between the hands, and that left foot steps back forward, lifting and lengthening, and back foot follows, folding forward, and inhale, preparing to raise back up, palms lightly touch, and exhaling, and hands back down. Now that was just the one round of our Suri Namaskar, or Easy Sun Salute. So now we're gonna do it again, but this time we're just gonna hold each of the poses just for the one breath. So it's gonna be a bit quicker as we start to flow through the poses a little bit more rapidly. So to begin, standing up nice and tall and time to really start warming up as we inhale, raising those hands up and exhale, swan diving down. Inhale, flat back, look forward. Exhale, right foot steps back into the lunge. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, plank, lowering the knees, lowering the chin as we swoop forward to cobra. And exhale, coming back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, right foot steps forward. Left leg follows. And inhale, raising back up to standing and floating straight into the left side as we fold down. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, left foot steps back. Inhale, into the lunge. Exhale, stepping back to dog. Inhale, looking forward, plank, as we drop the knees, the chin, swooping forward, untucking the toes, and coming straight back up to downward facing dog. Inhale, forward, left leg steps forward, looking up, right foot follows, bending the knees, floating the arms up, palms lightly touch, and exhaling back down. Okay, so you should be feeling nice and warm after that, but that's not the end of our sun salutes. I'm gonna get you to repeat that one, maybe two more times when you're ready, just flowing through those movements and using the breath as your guide. Okay, so now it's time to slow things down a little bit. We're gonna do just a few forward bends. So just start by extending the left leg out in front, drawing the right knee in, and allowing the knee to roll out to the side as the sole of the foot comes to tuck in besides the thigh. Turning the hips now to face the left foot as we inhale, raising the hands up, and exhale, coming to fold forward, hinging from the hips, and taking hold of either the shin, the ankle, or the sole of the foot. The most important thing here is to lead from the chest, lead from the heart. 
If you lead from the crown of the head, we start to roll and round into that back. So you want to have a nice, tall, straight back as we lift and look forward and exhale, hinging from the hips, coming down a little deeper. Inhale, lift and lengthen and exhale, coming down. And one more, using our breath as we inhale, lift and lengthen and exhale, folding forward. Now inhale, looking forward, preparing to raise back up as you release the hands, coming back up and bringing the hands back down beside the body. And now just preparing to come to the other side as we extend the right foot forward this time and the left foot out to the side. Flexing those toes of the right foot back, lifting up nice and tall, drawing that navel in, turning the hips to face towards the right foot this time. And then we're inhaling, raising the hands up and exhale, hinging from the hips, coming forward and taking hold of either the foot, the ankle or the shin. Once again, we're going to work with our breath to deepen into the posture. So inhale, leading with the heart as you look forward and exhale, releasing down. Inhale, lift and lengthen and exhale, releasing down. One more as you inhale, lift and lengthen and exhale down. And just holding here for one more breath. If you've got time, you can hold for a little bit longer and just feel that lovely stretch along the backs of the legs. And then when you're ready, looking forward as you inhale, raising the hands back up and exhale, floating the hands back beside the body. And now from here, we're just gonna come into our final posture by extending both the legs out in front now, flexing those toes back towards the face, lifting up nice and tall, really drawing those core muscles in. And we're inhaling, raising the hands up, lifting up out of the hips, and exhale, coming to fold forward, hinging from the hips, as once again, we inhale using the breath, and exhale, releasing down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, folding forward. One more as you inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, drawing that chest towards the thighs. And just holding here for a couple of breaths. Doing this lovely stretch along the backs of the legs and also along the back muscles as well. And when you're ready, raising that head, raising the hands up over the head and floating the hands back down. Okay, so it's time to conclude our 15 minute home yoga practice. So to do so, we're just gonna lift up nice and tall and bring the hands together at the heart center, palms lightly pressing together. Then from here, we're gently closing the eyes and breathing in as you inhale and exhale gently. Inhale nice and smoothly and exhaling. One more as we inhale here together and exhale gently bowing forward as together we say namaste or thanks. minute home yoga practice videos are yours to follow free online. It's my gift to you as I continue to share my love and enthusiasm for yoga with everyone everywhere. And of course for more information please head to my website or follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, The Mobile Yogi.